Bishop Eustis home to battle Kingsway in the Joe Hartman Diamond Classic quarterfinals. And a pair of North Carolina commits are on the mound. Anthony Solometo for the Crusaders and Justin Zestawicki for the Dragons. Both pitchers come out throwing gas early. Top of the first, Solometo blows a fastball by his man to end the inning. One of two Ks in the frame for the lefty. Bottom of the first, Zestawicki guns a fastball in there and gets his man looking. One of two Ks in the frame for the righty. Solometo strikes out the side in the second inning. Strike three looking, and Solometo has five Ks through two. A tough break for Zestawicki to start the bottom of the second, though. He bounces a pair of pitches in before a conference on the mound. The senior tweaks something and has to leave the ball game. That's a serious blow for the Dragons. Top three, three more strikeouts for Solometo. The senior strikes out the side for the second inning in a row. Steven Mayers cruising right along in relief for Kingsway. Bottom of the fifth and Mayers picks up the K. One of six on the day for Mayers and we're scoreless through five. Top six and a breakthrough for the Dragons. A runner on second for Mayers and he smacks a base hit up the middle. Ben Mayers comes around to score the first earned run allowed all season by Solometo as Stephen Mayers gives Kingsway a 1-0 lead. Mayers over on third now with two outs. Solometo limits the damage there as he picks up his 13th strikeout of the day to end the inning. Bottom six, the Crusaders have a runner on for Ann Petrutz. And Petrutz puts a charge into this one. Deep to center, and it carries all the way over the fence. A two-run bomb for the Maryland commit, Ian Petrutz. The senior gives the Crusaders the lead. Two to one, Eustis after six. So here's Solometo back on the bump to try and finish the job in the seventh. The Dragons have the tying run on first, but Solometo slams the door shut. His 15th strikeout of the day as the Crusaders punch a ticket to the Diamond Classic semifinals. Solometo hasn't had much run support in his last two outings, but Petrutz gives Eustis enough with one swing of the bat. Well, I've been playing with Ant since since eighth grade, and and like it's crazy because I know just like you that that is a that's not his best game, and he still pitched his butt off and he worked hard out here. And I told like I said. I told him against Cherry Hill West, we're not, I'm not going to let that happen again. It's, we're not, we're not going to let him work hard and not get a win. And, you know, it's like, it's really special to me to see how hard Ant works and just, to, and just to see his stuff shine on the mound. So my thing for me is I don't talk while I'm pitching and I'm sitting there on the bench and my heart like jumped out of my chest, but I didn't want to show any emotion. I, like I just said, you know, I wanted to run out there. I could have tackled him on the ground and hugged him and start getting him like a noogie or something. But, you know, I just sat there and I knew that I had to get my job done. He'd been telling me all day he was going to have my back and he, he saved me right there. He saved my butt. And I knew I had to go back out there and do my job. And once I got my job done, I was going to go out there and hug him. He's the first guy I hugged after the game. Bishop Eustis moves to 16-0. The Crusaders will host Gloucester Catholic in the Diamond Semis on Saturday. Kingsway drops to 12-6-1. In Pensalkin, I'm Mike Frankel, JerseySportsZone.com.